Over the years, many times we've worked with clients to help them win business. Abellio, on the eve of bidding for the Scott Rail contract for 10 years, uh, a major construction company that built the new BBC headquarters in Glasgow, a company that wanted to invest 400 million pounds of pensions on behalf of other companies. Now, what we always said to them was, you have to show your intent from the start. I came into that situation when I got wind of the fact that Glasgow City Council was looking for a partner in its bid to win the 2014 Games. The year was 2007. And I got our team of eight people around the table and I said, look, this is happening. Glasgow wants a partner. There will be stiff competition for this. We have to be utterly determined to win this. We all have to be bought in. Anybody, any objections? What do you think could be the challenges here? We talked it all through. And then I said why I believed we were in pole position, the best place to win that. Now it's interesting, when I went to see Glasgow City Council, when we were shortlisted for that, I had the same kind of conversation. But instead of telling them how good we were at teaching presentation skills, I said to them, here's how I believe we can help you win the games. Sometimes we get too focused on the process rather than the outcome. Whenever you're bidding for something, whenever you're aiming for a goal, to me, the goal has to be the focus. The process is how you get there, but keep the goal front and center of what you're doing all the time. Now, early on in that, Louise Martin, who is going to be the principal speaker on that, came to these offices and she said, I just feel I'm a bit flat in my presentations. And I said, well, it can be nervousness, but the very first thing we did was we highlighted what are the key words in the first speech you have to make. We underlined them. Then she knew she could give them extra oomph, extra emphasis. We still do that to this day. Louise Martin eventually became Dame Louise Martin because she successfully led that Commonwealth Games bid. And then she became the head of the Commonwealth Games Federation and has run that organization very successfully. So she learned certain simple techniques in her presentation she was already the right person for the job, but she had to demonstrate that. And these simple things we helped with in these very early days went a long way in helping Glasgow win the Commonwealth Games and Louise then to lead that organization.